I bet this one's calm enough I could put her on my face, huh? The Black Widow is often regarded as one of the deadliest and most toxic spiders on the planet, but is this true? Let's catch a bunch and learn about these really cool arachnids. Okay, filming. Let me wipe this. There we go, nice and crisp. 4K HD. All right, go on. Yep. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, as I'm sure you can see behind me, we're in a little bit of a trash dump, but that's intentional because today I'm hoping to catch many, many Western black widows or Latrodectus hesperus. So there's lots of cinder blocks and pieces of wood and such all kind of haphazardly thrown about. So I'm hoping to find some black widows that have made this little junk heap their home. Let's check it out. <laughs> it's hot. It's boiling out of here. No, not quite. The, the, the webbing that I'm looking for is going to kind of shine in the light and it's going to be super, super strong. Latrodectus webbing. It has incredible tensile strength. And so when you kind of run your fingers along it, it has a lot of resistance. So that's what I'm doing when I'm checking these webs with my hands, is I'm verifying whether or not they are black widow webs. Let's get to these ones on the bottom. Ugh. These ones might be getting too warm and they might be, they might be trying to stay cool. There's some webbing in here. But it's really common to find these, uh, just as Katie did, to find these black widows kind of tucked in little spaces like this. No dice. Whew. It just makes steamy out here. Now drop for drop, the venom of black widows is extremely potent. However, the yield is also something to take into consideration when thinking about envenomations. The yield of a black widow is very small, meaning they only inject a small amount of venom at a time making bites less than life-threatening. I bet there's some under this pallet. If we move all these concrete blocks, I bet we can find some. All right, cook that last little thing up. Let's check. Black Widow. Oh uh, yeah, cool. All right, we've spotted a little Black Widow under here. Tiny little female. Check her out right there in that web. See her? What a beauty. Let's get her out and show you guys. Come here. Come here. <sighs> yeah, look at that. That iconic hourglass. Y'all see that? Tiny little Hesperus looks to be maybe a subadult or a molt away from subadult. Little one, pretty cool. Let's see if we can find anything bigger than this. This is a very cool little spider. Let's find a big one. All right, we've just flipped another one. Another little subadult. 
right there. Let me see if I can show you guys actually that hourglass. Turn her a little bit. And there we go. Oh, hey. Where are you running off to? Oh, this one has some great dorsal patterning. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wow, cool defense mechanism. She's throwing gobs of sticky web. See that little string? So actually, despite popular opinion, the main mode of defense in a black widow's life is to throw that sticky web to hopefully entangle a predator um, and to flee. Uh, so they're really not interested in biting all that much in defense. But look at the dorsal patterning on this juvenile, really nice. Look at all the red spots and stripes. That's a pretty spider, is it not? Whew, really cool. Let's see if we can find a honker, a big sucker. All right, folks, so I've just happened upon a co-ed dorm. We have a male on one side of the cinder block and a female on the other. So let's see. So see that little female right down in there. And then our lovely little bachelor, adult male hanging out in this other side. Straight down the middle, see kind of a lighter color, but you can tell he's a male because of those big old petty pops on the front. And I'll pull him out so you guys can see. See them a little female closer. right there too. Oh yeah, another female. Sweet! So we got a full, a full cast of widows. All right, let's move this, set it up on this little thing. Yeah, so take a look, folks. That is an adult male, Western Black Widow, Latridictus Hesperus, female down in the corner. Well, the camera, like ourselves, has overheated, so we're taking refuge in the, in the shade now, and I'm gonna try and capture all of these. And then I think uh, it's a little steamy, so I think we'll probably be done. We'll take a look at this nice little female here. Once again, what a beautiful little spider. Let's catch her up. Uh, uh, uh. Come here. Look at that dorsal coloration, folks. Isn't that beautiful? Should I put it in my hand? Beautiful spiders. Lovely, lovely little black widow. Not doing another bite video of these. No, thank you. But as you can see, a very calm species, a very collected animal. Not too terribly dangerous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. Always a pleasure to catch a bunch of these really nice little females. Wow, look at this beautiful, beautiful widow. Where'd you go? <laughs> Love that. That slow descent. Put these down. Come here. It's okay. Obviously, don't try. Don't try this at home. But um, I do this to demonstrate just how little these animals are willing to to bite in defense of their even their own lives. Come close.
wheels for this one, folks. Oh, I was gonna see if she would like live in my nose. She was about to. No. I bet this one's calm enough I could put her on my face, huh? I think that's enough trying to impress my viewers for today. Awesome. Well, we caught a good amount of these beautiful little Black Widow spiders. And uh, maybe we didn't get completely and totally sunburnt in the process. But thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more awesome content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for even more crazy stuff.